Hi, my name is June, and you are in the Urban Survival Kitchen. Today, we are going to make a Thanksgiving dinner. It's actually past Thanksgiving, but this Thanksgiving dinner you can serve any day of the week, any month out of the year, and it's perfect for a family of four. I have four drumsticks here, turkey drumsticks that I purchased at Whole Foods today for less than $10 for these four beautiful drumsticks. So what I'm going to do is start with a Dutch oven. You can use a cast iron Dutch oven or any type of pot that has a tight fitting lid. I'm going to coat the bottom of the Dutch oven with a couple of tablespoons of a high quality olive oil and I'm going to heat it. This is a technique that I call low and slow saute. I have a red onion which I'm cutting into dice while my olive oil is heating about 200 degrees. It's on a very low flame. Going to add the red onion to the pan and cook the red onion for about five minutes in a low and slow fashion. This is a technique that retains the quality of the olive oil, the vitamin E and the chlorophyll as much as possible. I'm using Nouveau olive oil from Northern California, outside of Sacramento. It's my favorite olive oil. Okay, now I've added the red onions to the pan, Dutch oven, and I'm going to cook them for about five minutes. We'll be back in five minutes. After five minutes, I'm going to add one large carrot and two stalks of celery that have been chopped up. And this is what you call aromatics. I'm going to add a sprig of rosemary, which I will chop up. Standard herbs to use for poultry, especially for turkey, are rosemary, sage. Here we have some fresh, it's actually dried sage, about a teaspoon. And a little bit of thyme, which is also dried, about a half a teaspoon of thyme. So we let this mixture saute for another five minutes in a low and slow fashion. And while we're doing that, I will season the turkey drumsticks, a little salt, and pepper, ground pepper. Now I'm going to add the drumsticks to the pan and brown them in the same mixture, the same aromatic mixture. It's been about 10 minutes, but we have a nice little brown on one side the turkey drumstick. So I'm turning them over. If you have more time, you can let it cook a, a little longer to get a nice even burn. I'm going to scrape the bottom to make sure that the vegetables do not burn first. They're caramelized. looking pretty good. Has a nice little brown finish on the skin. Okay, we now we have cooked the other side of the turkey drumsticks enough to brown it nicely on the bottom. I'm not going to turn it over, but at this point I'm going to add about a half a cup to three quarters of a cup of chicken broth. Then I'm going to place the pan covered in a 350 degree oven in the center of the oven and that's it. Okay, it's been about 45 minutes to an hour and our turkey drumettes are, are, are pretty tender right now. There's quite a bit of juice at the bottom of the oven, Dutch oven. So what I may do is prepare a little gravy from the drippings. 
as you can see, the meat is almost falling off the bone. This is done. This is less than an hour at 350 degrees. I have potatoes on top of the stove. I'm going to cook up some mashed potatoes and some green peas, petit pois, and we'll have a full-on Thanksgiving dinner in about 15 minutes. I decided to make good gravy along with this uh, turkey because there's a lot of juice in the pan. So what I'm going to do is heat a pan and I'm going to add two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Once the butter is melted, I'm going to add three tablespoons of flour. While the butter is melting, I'm going to take the turkey out. And I'll show you at the bottom of the pan are all the juices that I've rendered from the turkey. In a way, it's almost like a confit uh, duck. It's when the turkey cooks in its own fat. Not a lot of fat, but it does cook in its own juices, and it becomes super tender and falls right off the bone. As you can see, the butter is starting to sizzle a little, at which point I'm going to add the flour. By cooking the flour, it guarantees that your gravy will be smooth and not lumpy. This raw flour tends to lump up. Okay. So now we have it, we've cooked it for, we'll cook it for about a minute. At which point I'm going to strain off the gravy. And I think I'm going to strain it through a sieve. almost smell the flour and the butter cooking. It's very aromatic. Okay, I'm going to strain off the broth as much as possible. I'm going to cover the turkey. Let it rest until serving time. I need to add the vegetables back to the turkey. Now we have our base for our broth, for our gravy. We want to stir it continuously. Over a low flame, keeping it over a low flame. You can see the consistency is very smooth right now. Add a little touch of water to the, to the gravy to extend it. or you can use broth. I'm only adding a couple of tablespoons to thin it out to the consistency that I'm looking for. Okay, at this point I'll taste it. It doesn't need anything. It's actually perfect. We're done. The gravy is finished. So as soon as the potatoes are finished, I'm going to whip them up into whipped potatoes and then I'm going to plate the food and you'll see the end result. What we have here is a Thanksgiving dinner that can be prepared any time of the year for less than $20 for four people. We have our turkey drumsticks that were purchased at Whole Foods which I'm going to put on the plate. I think maybe what I'll do is I'll start with the mashed potatoes. Instead of using a measured scoop, I'm just going to use a spoon and place them in the center of the pan. This is the equivalent of about one medium to large russet potato. I think that's probably enough. Then I'll take one of the turkey drumettes and place that across the mashed potatoes. This is a huge drumette. This is probably more than enough for one serving. 
I mean, it is monstrous. Then I'm going to place, see I don't even have a spoon here. I'll take the, the peas and place them around the mashed potatoes. Sort of garnish it a little. And the last part would be to serve the gravy, which can go right on top of the turkey drumette and also to cover the mashed potatoes a little. We're looking at a plate that costs less than five dollars. Now that's my idea of a turkey dinner. I'm going to garnish it with a little rosemary, fresh rosemary, which you can find basically in the wild. Also, uh, we have uh, three choices of a condiment to balance out the turkey gravy to cut the richness of it. We have chutney, which is your Indian chutney, it's a peach chutney. We have cranberry sauce, which I bought. It's an organic canned cranberry sauce. I think it costs less than a dollar fifty a can, organic. And then I have applesauce that I combined with cranberries that I had made into a cranberry applesauce. So now you have a choice of three condiments and this beautiful plate for less than five dollars. I think that's a great urban survival kitchen meal. <laughs>